In this video, you're going to learn how to animate a character in and out of a letter inside Create Studio. Let's have a quick preview. Great, so as you can see, the character pops out of this O and it looks really good. Uh, it's really eye-catching and this works really well with O's or D's or letters where there's basically a gap where you could basically make the character go in and out. Okay, so to do this, you basically want to add your text layers and you can see I've created a nice text animation here using the custom animations and basically animating the scale to bring it up like this and then also the letter spacing to make it close in like that. And there's a tutorial in the two minute tips playlist which shows you how to do that. So let me go and show you how to add this character inside this O. Okay, so let's go and delete this. And what I'm gonna do is go to the studio panel and I'm gonna grab this character and just drop her over here. And I'm gonna go and select waving for this one. Okay, so we've got her that's gonna basically come in and wave through that gap. So what I wanna do is kind of scale her down and make her a decent size for that O. I'm also gonna rotate her so that she kind of comes in on an angle. So it comes through like that and she starts waving, okay? So what we're gonna do now is um, find out whereabouts we wanna add her. So the text kinda of stops animating about here. So I'm gonna bring her to start in about this point. And then what I wanna do is grab the rectangle tool. So grab the rec rounded rectangle one, this one here. Um, you can also create your own kind of custom shapes if you use Adobe Illustrator um, and bring in like a SVG file so you can make it exactly the shape you like. Um, but let's go and use this one for now. So what I'm gonna do is just hide Michelle over here on the timeline. And so I can see the shape a bit better. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit better. And you, maybe you could change the color, make it something different so you can see the shape. Um, and what we wanna do is basically match up the shape so that it kind of curves around at this point here. So I'm gonna to go to advanced settings and I'm gonna make the radius about, oh, let's say about 1.3. Let's have a look at that. Okay, and what I want to do also is just zoom in out a bit more and just also scale this up a little bit, like that, so that she has space to do her wave. Maybe we could just drag it out a little like so. Okay, so now we have a basically a position that we want our character to appear in. And outside of this position, she's going to be masked so that you don't see her until she goes through this, into the shape uh, space, okay? So what we want to do now is I'm just going to basically right click on the character. I'll just turn her on over here so you can see her. And I'm gonna right click on her and go mask with shape. Cool. So as you can see now we've got her and she's inside the shape. I could just kind of position her, maybe make her a little bit smaller so she fits better inside this. Um, and what I'm gonna do as well is just mask the shape, uh, the, lock the shape so that now I won't uh, move the shape out of place because I've got the mask in the right place. And again, I'll make her a little bit smaller. You can adjust the mask obviously and make the mask a bit bigger if you like. So maybe we could do that actually. Just select the mask and drag it up a little bit like so. You can zoom in and just make sure that, you know, the mask is the right kind of size and position for you like this. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so now what we're gonna do is um, create some animation so that she pops in and out. So to do that, we've got her now like just waving like this, but we want her to come in and out. So what we want to do is add a custom position animation. So just drop her down and click on animations on the plus icon and click on position. And then just maybe drag it out so it's about one second long or so. And what we want to do now that we've got her in this position, she's at the end of the animation, she's here that's looking good. What we want to do is just basically move the time indicator to the start and then just basically move her down. So we're going to lock the shape layer uh, mask again and just bring her down maybe like so, so that she slides in like that. Okay. And that's looking pretty good. Um, maybe we'll drag it out a little bit more like that. So it goes like this. And what we can then do is right click on that and then duplicate reverse. And so that we create the same animation that she goes now she slides back down like that, okay? And you can adjust like the easing 
let's say we just want the easing to be in the, in the, at the start, we can do that and just drag this out like so. And let's just preview what we've created so far. Cool, so that's how you go through and create that nice effect. Maybe I'd move her down a little bit more so that she's completely out of the O like that. And we've got a really nice looking character kind of animation that you could add to your text, to your logo, um, to really make it look a lot better and you know, a really engaging effect that you can do for your video. So have a go with that. Make sure to add a like to the video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below. And yeah, have fun creating.